We've seen a surge of CLI-based agents lately. Google's got one, Anthropic has theirs, even Cursor has something running in the terminal. The thing is, most of them still feel clunky or limited. Now, Abacus AI is making a bold claim. Their new code LOM, CLI, is the number one coding agent in the world. It fuses GPT-5 with Claude Sonnet 4 to deliver speed and precision we haven't seen before. And they say benchmarks are coming soon to prove it. So let's talk about it. Now let me explain why this thing matters. Code LLM CLI goes beyond being another AI sitting in your terminal spitting out single step solutions. It's an actual agentic system, which means it can generate multi-step plans, execute them by itself, debug when something goes wrong, and integrate with your existing setup. Think Git, think code repos, think multi-language support, it's all built in. The difference here is that it doesn't just call one model at a time, it orchestrates GPT-5 and Sonnet 4 in real time. GPT-5 brings the raw intelligence, the coding horsepower, while Sonnet handles contextual reasoning, basically the planning and step-by-step -step thought process. For example, Abacus showed how Code LLM generated a fully functional chat to PDF app. That's an app that lets you chat with your local files privately without sending them anywhere. It built the whole thing by combining both models, splitting the heavy lifting and reasoning between them. That's the kind of stuff developers usually spend days building, and it just pops out of the CLI. Now, Codellum CLI sits inside Abacus AI's broader tool set, but what really matters is how it works once you're using it. You can move between chat, code, and now the new CLI mode, which drops you straight into the terminal. From there, it feels natural. Type in the Codellum CLI command, and you're in. Just press tab, and you can flip between Sonnet 4, Sonnet 4 thinking, GPT-5, GPT-5 thinking high, or let Codellum itself decide which one fits best for the task at hand. The real magic starts when you feed it context. Let's say you want it to debug a repo. You just point it to the folder, select Sonnet 4 thinking mode, and it doesn't just spit out fixes, it shows you the reasoning process step by step. You actually see it analyzing files, digging into the index.html, flagging issues, and then rewriting the code directly in place. And the fixes aren't vague suggestions, it goes ahead and updates the files. Another thing that stands out is how flexible it is mid-execution. Normally, with AI code generation, you wait for the whole block of code to finish before you can make tweaks. Here, you can reroute the plan live. If you don't like the direction it's going, you can tell it to adjust while it's still building, and it will adapt the generation on the fly. That's a big deal because it makes the whole process collaborative, not just one-shot outputs. Now, one test they did was asking Code LLM to create a local spreadsheet to chat app. Basically, an app where you upload Excel or CSV files, and then you can actually talk to your data through a chatbot interface. The agent built the full app, it handled data upload, displayed file info like size, rows, columns, structure, and then added a natural language chat interface. You could ask it for a summary, request a visualization, and even tell it to build a line chart and save it inside the app. All of that was generated directly from the CLI agent. And yes, it integrates with multiple models inside the chat. So in that spreadsheet app, you could swap between GPT 4.1 mini and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, or add more models if you want. That kind of flexibility is something you rarely see bundled in one tool. But let's talk about developer workflows because things get impressive once you see it tackle everyday dev work. Inside the CLI, you can tag files directly. For instance, you can tag index.html and then say, help me restructure the front end styling for this wallpaper app. The agent reads that specific file, analyzes it, and then pushes out a restructured version. And not only that, but you can also accept changes one by one or accept all at one. In one demo, the agent generated 11 files for the spreadsheet app displayed the diffs, and then the user just hit A to accept everything. That kind of control is exactly what developers want. Now, Abacus AI is also building memory into their tools. Bindu Reddy, the CEO, posted about this feature they're testing in ChatLM. It's a user memory system that remembers your preferences across models, 
learns who you are over time and adapts to your conversational style. Right now it's in beta and you have to enable it manually in your profile. But this is clearly the direction they're taking. Tools that don't just respond, but actually learn and adjust to you as an individual user. What's really catching people's attention is the quality of the output. Developers have been posting examples of apps that look like a professional team built them, except they came out of code LLM in minutes. One person asked it to create a developer portfolio website using Magic UI, and the result was a polished, responsive site that looked production ready. That's the level of refinement we're seeing here. And Abacus AI isn't just hyping this up. They've already rolled out a massive update to the CLI. And on their official X account, they said that in two weeks, they'll be publishing benchmarks to prove it's number one in the coding agent space. So they're clearly confident. And with the way it's been performing in demos, it's not hard to see why. Now the CLI itself also has a set of commands you can trigger, just type slash inside and you'll see the list. Some are basic like tagging files and others are more advanced like tweaking code diffs or restructuring components in real time. It makes the workflow pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it. Big messy code bases are often the real test and code LLM handles them without losing context. Instead of just spitting out small snippets, it can move through entire projects, indexing and navigating them efficiently. Most AI coding tools slow down or lose track once the repo gets big, but by combining GPT-5's raw intelligence with Sonnet's structured reasoning, Code LLM manages that scale far more effectively. You can see this clearly in the debugging examples. When it runs through a repo, it doesn't just fix obvious syntax issues. It flags architectural problems, restructures components, and even explains its reasoning while doing so. That explanation layer might sound like fluff, but in practice, it's huge. Developers want to understand the why behind a fix, not just the fix itself, and Code LLM is delivering that transparency. And if you've ever tried to build an app with one of these tools, you know that the small details matter. Code LLM lets you configure and tweak components as you go. You can highlight a section of code, send it to the chat panel in the editor, and refine it with the model's help. The bigger picture is that Abacus AI is aiming to become the go-to platform for serious developer agents. While others are showing off flashy demos, Abacus is pulling everything together into a full suite of connected tools. And if their upcoming benchmarks really prove they're number one, this could set the new standard for what an AI coding agent looks like. So yeah, Code LLM CLI is shaping up to be one of the most impressive tools we've seen in this space, not just for its speed, but for how it's orchestrating multiple models to deliver actual results. If you've been waiting for a real AI coding partner inside your terminal, this is probably the closest thing right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.